Yeah, good evening. Wow. Yeah, I'm here live from my kitchen. Live from my kitchen. I hope you guys are doing good. Good evening from Africa. Yes, Mr. Blank. Thank you for showing up. Let's run out. Thank you, sir. Okay. Today, I followed uh, as regarding to the pool I placed out there, you know, talking about the topics I want to share today. Uh, I got more attention on the topic uh, how to avoid injuries at the gym. So that was the topic that got most uh, votes because I followed the vote of the audience. I set out a pool and I asked which topic would be preferable on our next live stream. They asked about uh, first I asked how to avoid injuries at the gym, and second I asked uh, there are uh, some exercises that you don't need to do that are a waste of time so which topic do you want me to talk about so the audience they said that uh, i saw a lot of votes on uh, how to avoid injuries at the gym so i'm going to speak about how to avoid injuries at the gym i hope you guys copy some knowledge and also share with me your comments when you listen and how you feel about what i talked about and also you can like this video please like this video share this video and also comment on this video so we can stay inspired together thank you mr francisco welcome online mr torrens thank you sir say hello so um i start now what I'm talking about is how to avoid injuries at the gym because, of course, uh, we are basically not used to gym machines. We are uh, beginners, we are uh, first timers, we just want to uh, try to do something athletics or something more uh, productive to inspire our body. So, I want to talk about yeah, some ways you can avoid. Uh, you can avoid injuries from the gym or from your training point so first one you have to know your equipment you have to know your equipment like uh, some of us we start the gym we don't know how to use the machine maybe the chest press machine or the barbell or whatever machines you don't know how to use it first of all you have to know how to use the machine you have to follow the instructions identified on the machine or you go to the instructor you go to the instructor in the gym you say hey i need support in using this machine then you have to know how to use the machine understand the machine before you start working out with it that's the very first point for you to avoid injuries because you can't just go to any gym and start using uh, unknown machines as if uh, you are a legend in it you have to be open to support and also call for support when you are new to any machine you say how to use it always learn to understand the tools or the equipment you are using before you start using it that's the first point the second point you have to do your warm-up okay whenever you want to start an exercise like for example squatting sometimes at the gym when i go to the gym i want to do my i want to work on my quads i want to do squatting exercise I start with, ah, let's say this is a barbell. I start with an empty barbell with no weight by the sides. I start with empty barbell and I do some leg lunges like this. Okay. I do this with empty bar without weights. I do that to stretch and also warm up my legs because I'm coming to do some wrist squats. So I do this, you know, to get my legs exercised. So that I can warm up without weights. Then when I start, <clears throat> I start uh, instrumentally. Gradually I put 10 kg, increase to 20 kg. 
So that's how you do. You have to warm up before you start doing any exercise to avoid injury, you know. There's also another point. You have to stick to the rules. Every gym has rules, okay? Before you use a machine, you have to watch out for the rules. You don't use it the wrong form and expect not to have injury. Injury are easily to get at the gym because the machines are powerful and they are made to construct your body. So when you don't use them in the appropriate form, there's every tendency for you to get injuries from them. So that's another point. You have to you have to know the gym uh head wise for your head sake you have to know the rules of the machine and also for your safety you have to be conscious of the rules attached to the machine then the other point is you have to stay hydrated stay hydrated staying hydrated is another uh, point for avoiding injuries at the gym because and hydrated muscles trains longer okay when you are dehydrated at the gym you get a little bit more frustrated and more discouraged and more tired and because uh, your muscles will not have quick recovering time because of the loss of uh, water so keeping your muscle hydrated is another form of avoiding injury at the gyms you have to drink water or soap uh, sports drinks you know sports drinks are good you can also drink sports drinks to replace a uh, lost electrolytes in your body and also sugar sugar drinks are good for gym when you are an active sports person sugar drinks are not bad because it gives you energy sugar gives you some energy you need for training so sugar drinks because you always burn out as you do the continuous exercise then another point to avoid injuries at the gym to avoid injuries at the gym another point is a good training posture okay you have to know the good training posture in order to get a training going on mr john <laughs> thank you sir <laughs> so this point you have to get the right training posture like for example if you are doing the bicep coil with the barbell doing it in this form and doing it in this form it's a different posture so there are postures you do you you begin to hurt your lower back okay you hurt your lower back muscles because you are swinging along with the weight and you are doing the inappropriate form mr john a gym or modeling agency in the u.s should offer you a job like they did to Melania Trump. Yeah, thank you, sir. That's a good opportunity. I appreciate that uh, motivation and support. Uh, yeah, you have to get your gym posture. You have to know how to handle the machine and how to stand right. We are doing an exercise, your posture matters. Some people, they don't know how to do the sit-up abs exercise. So they hurt their lower back most times because they sit upright instead of them to squeeze and crunch the abs muscles. So it's different. Getting the right posture, you can get a gym instructor to support you. In order to get the right posture, then you can proceed with your training. And that will be like a productive workout for you. And the next point is you have to mix up your routine. Yeah, mixing up your exercise like when I started, when I started doing bodybuilding, I only knew, only knew the barbell squats, the barbell squats for my, for my quads. So uh, as time goes on, I begin to get some dimensions of training, like the lunges with the barbell, also with the uh, leg press machine. So there are varieties you can do with training of different muscles. So I encourage you to always switch routines. Yeah, doing the dumbbell coil and also doing the barbell coil. It also helps the muscles to avoid straight injuries like a, a joint, joint rotation in one form for a long time. So there are every possibility for you to switch routines. Then it helps your body to recover and also 
appeal from previous exercise because you switch routine to a new exercise. Another point is you have to protect yourself with a physiotherapist. Yes, physiotherapist. It's a good way for you to protect yourself. You get uh, engaged in a physiotherapist where you get a muscle uh, relaxed, stretching, and the massage. That's a good point for you to avoid injuries. If you have a gym with a membership of a physiotherapist, it's another way for you to save money. You really start with a gym with a good physiotherapist. And that's a nice one for you to protect you against gym injuries. Then you have to avoid heavy weights, okay? This point is very vital. Some people go to the gym, they try to impress, they try to, they try to, they try to be fast. I mean, arrogant about bodybuilding is not being arrogant. You don't have to be arrogant about training. When people try to push heavy weights, try to lift more than they can because they are being arrogant. They want the muscle to come out in 24 hours. They want to get the pecs in 24 hours. They want to get the muscle in 24 hours. They try to pull as heavy as they can. But that's not how it works, okay? You can get yourself injured by doing too much of a workout of heavy weight of which you are not supposed to do as a beginner or as a continuous worry with that you have to avoid heavy weights to avoid injury so in this case there are some rules in gym yeah there are some rules in gym you can also uh, do with that now you have to avoid show off okay in the gym, you have to avoid show off. When people go to the gym, they try to show off by doing what they what they are not used to, what they are not supposed to do, and what they don't know how to do. They like to show off because people are watching. They see some other people at the other corner. They want to show off. They want to exaggerate their strengths. They want to do what they are not used to. So in that case, they can get themselves injured by. So people see some other guys doing deadlift off. 200 kg. You say, oh, I want to do it. I want to try. Because you see people watching. You will go there and you go on the deadlift even without the right form. Then you get your lower back injured just because you are trying to show off. So you don't show off at the gym. You do what is appropriate to avoid injury. Another point is you have to be uh, confident about your grip and avoid slippery machines. At the gym to avoid injury, you have to be confident about your grip. If you look at my palm, you see some evidence of grip. Shows that uh, I'm confident about my grip. Okay, this means I'm confident about my grip because when I grip the bar, the bar knows something has grip. So when I grip the bar, I start my workout. You don't expect me to lose focus on my grip. Be, be, be confident on your grip to avoid injury because when your grip is not aim, if not uh, bold enough, some people when they do bench press, the grip is not bold enough. You can have the bar fall on your chest or you can have your hand dislocated because your grip is not firm. You have to be confident on your grip whenever you are doing an exercise. When you are doing back exercise, you have to hold the bar with your strength okay be confident on your grip when you are doing exercise if you are doing the the last pull you have to hold the bar because you're confident on your grip and avoid slippery machines like some machines you see some oils in the machine maybe on your grip you see oil or water you need to dry it off okay always dry the machines before you use because slippery machines are liable to cause you failure at the gym and make you get yourself injured and that's a bad one. So to avoid injuries, you have to avoid slippery machines and also avoid and be confident about your grip. The another point is maintain your nutrition, okay? Maintain your nutrition. This is very vital because after the workout, you go home, take a shower, then also what do you eat? Your nutrition matters a lot because if you don't maintain your nutrition, then your body does not have the right food to recover from the hard workout. After squatting at the gym, after doing all the hard workout at the gym, you need the right food to make your body recover and also make you not have uh, internal injuries. There are food that repairs your body, your muscle tissues, quick recovery food are good for you. So it's good for you to always watch your diet 
alongside the training so it gives you an opportunity to grow and heal faster okay now we have another point know when to rest okay this is my last point it says know when to rest okay you have to know when to rest okay as a bodybuilder as an athletics as a fitness model or as a trainer or as a or as a uh, an exercise person like you are or like we are every day you train or once in a while you train always know when to rest because the body is not a machine the body is just as a component and it's not a machine to serve you 24 hours of hard labor so you have to know when to rest and get the muscles relaxed because the muscle does not build at the gym when you walk the muscle only gets the stress up then when you rest and relax the muscle gets the pump and they look better you know so that's a point on how you can avoid injuries at the gym I hope that was helpful. So that was all I got for today. So the other topic on uh, exercises you don't need to do to avoid exercises that waste your time. That doesn't give you what you need, that you don't need to do. I should bring that up on my next live stream. I hope you guys stay up to copy that. Thank you guys for showing up. Mr. John Moran, thank you for your comments. <laughs> okay, great. I hope you guys are having a great evening over there. Yeah, greetings from Africa. This is 10, 10, 7 p.m. This is 10, 7 p.m. Uh, yeah, okay. I wish you guys a good night rest and happy weekend to you. Yes, it's weekend. This is Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. Tomorrow, Saturday morning. I hope I wish you a good night rest and a blissful weekend. Yeah. Okay. Stay blessed. I long to see your comments. Your comment, like this video, please. Like this video, share this video. It's an opportunity to share some tips with you all. I'm so glad we copied. Respect to you. Much love from Africa.